Hey guys, today on What to Watch, the show that lets you know what's streaming online now, it's Disney Princesses. <sighs> Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> I am British. I don't know why. I don't think there are any British characters in any of the Disney princess movies, but I feel like there should be. <laughs> Disney just launched the new Disney Movies Anywhere, the all Disney, all the time streaming platform. Plus, three new Disney princess inspired movies are either soon to be released, in post productions, or in negotiations. So today, we're getting ready with some classics. I know you. First up, streaming on Disney Movies Anywhere is the 1959 Sleeping Beauty. With Angelina Jolie's Maleficent coming out on May 30th, it is the perfect time to revisit this well-known story. The IMDb description of Sleeping Beauty reads, A snubbed, malevolent fairy cast a curse on a princess that only a prince can break, with the help of three good fairies. Okay, wait a minute. So did anybody else think that Maleficent was a fairy? I mean, I always thought of her as a kind of like a witch, right? I mean, maybe I just blocked all of that out because when I first saw the Maleficent trailer, I was like, what? Angie has wings? That's very odd. Well, well. Anyway, in visual effects master Robert Stromberg's directorial debut, the soon-to-be-released movie tells the untold story of how Maleficent became the bitter fairy who puts a curse on baby Aurora. Apparently, it wasn't all just because she was a last-minute invite to the party. You weren't wanted. Not what? Oh. oh dear, what an awkward situation. The animated version does share elements with the original Brothers Grimm story, like with the cursed spindle of death, but leaves out the sexual assault, the adultery, a queen that wants to eat babies. My parents were super cool and let me read the stories as a child. That might actually explain some things. Well, it's a... It, it's not exactly the way it is in the book, is it? Oh, I improved it. Fun fact, Maleficent is voiced by Eleanor Audley, who Disney recast as the voice of Lady Tremaine, the evil stepmother in Cinderella. Bringing us straight into our next movie, Watch the animated 1950 Cinderella, also on Disney Movies Anywhere. If you don't already know, a new live-action Cinderella is coming out in 2015. Cinderella! All right, all right, I'm coming. According to the cool kids at CinemaCon that got a sneak peek, it looks awesome, and Kate Blanchett sounds like she's going to be a perfect evil stepmother. This time the story is going to be pretty faithful to the animated version, and it should be interesting to see how they do it. Apparently, they're gonna be real mice in clothing, like little vests. Well, she'll need a dress and a. <laughs> hmm? No, no, no! A sheep and a he, he, he. Oh, that does make a difference. A not so spot on version to check out is Ever After, streaming on Amazon. It's a little more realistic, dubbing itself the true story of Cinderella. I always have fun watching Drew Barrymore movies, but I'm obsessed with Angelica Houston. In general, but especially in this movie. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day it's Cinderella. Cinderella was always my favorite Brothers Grimm story, as the stepsister cuts off her own toes to fit into the glass slipper. Ugh, the image of a bloody glass slipper is really disturbing. <laughs> Next, you should revisit the 1989 Little Mermaid, because Sofia Coppola is in talks to direct a Universal Studios version based on the original story. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? It's a fork. Reports are saying that the movie's going to be very different from the animated version, to more closely resemble the Hans Christian Andersen original. The tale was first published in 1837 and depicts a heart-wrenching story of the Little Mermaid trading her tongue for legs and having to choose between killing her true love or sacrificing herself. We represent someone who can help you. Someone who can make all your dreams come true. Caroline Thompson of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas and The Corpse Bride is penning the script, so don't expect any sunshine and rainbows. Or singing crabs for that matter. You want something done, you've got to do it yourself. I may have been the Little Mermaid for Halloween when I was four. She's definitely my Disney princess. What's yours? Da 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 see, da 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 da. Jeez, mum, I'm surrounded by amateurs. Emma Watson is currently downplaying casting news. Who do you guys think should play Ariel? And what do you think of the Coppola Thompson team? Oh, I should do this, because I'm an octopus. <laughs> We've already gone through our Snow White live action phase, with Snow White and the Huntsman streaming on Hulu, and Mirror Mirror streaming on Netflix. Personally, I feel like we finally have the tech to successfully pull off a dark Beauty and the Beast. 
What Disney princess movie do you think deserves a live action revamp next? Be sure to click like and subscribe to Cinefix for more what to watch every Thursday and let me know what list I should do next time. See you guys later. Every morning just the same since the morning that we came to this poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Monsieur. I've, fin I've come to- wait. <laughs>